What's going on, Safe Moon Army, Safe Moon family? Thanks again for joining me for yet another video. If you are new here or have not subscribed, subscribe, smash that like button, share with all your friends. Just so you know, I am not a financial advisor. Anything you hear or see in this video is not financial advice. And like everything, please do your own research. Don't just take my word for it. Look into it yourself and make your own decisions. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members. Thank you guys so much for being a channel member and sticking with me through this difficult time time while I try to finish this documentary. I know it's been taking me a lot more time to pump out content than usual, and I apologize for that. And on today's show, we are going to be going over and covering the latest price bump and why is it happening and what's in store for the future. So strap in because here we go. Okay, right now we are starting off here. This is the price of Safe Moon, everyone. As you can see over the last month, it has gone up quite a bit. And the important thing to remember is don't freak out and keep your composure. We can't have anyone freak out out there, okay? We've got to keep our composure. We've come too far. There's too much to lose. We've got to just keep our composure. And that's one of my favorite scenes from old school. So I wanted to throw that in there for you guys. And if you look at this chart right here, you could see this giant spike right here. Now, why exactly did this spike happen? If we fly on over to this, it says in connection with the migration of SafeMoon V1 to V2, SafeMoon is seeking to migrate BNB held in its LPs associated with SafeMoon V1 into the LPs associated with SafeMoon V2. In connection with that migration, SafeMoon may from time to time acquire SafeMoon V2 in the open market, subject to market conditions and other factors. So if you guys were paying attention to Dex Screener a few days back on May 11th, you could have seen all these 32 buys coming in, driving the price up because it was an addition from the V1 LP into the V2 LP. And it was all because SafeMoon was actually buying SafeMoon on the open market and causing the price to rise. Now, if we fly back over to the chart itself, you could see that there was a huge whale sell-off right here. And that is common when a huge price spike happens. You'll always see a bunch of whales sell off and take some profits. But as you could see here it had a nice climb back up and it's getting its way back up there so it's super exciting to see the price movement and the positive action for SafeMoon. Now let's fly on over to this. This is a question I asked to John Caroni about the SafeMoon tokens that were acquired during the LP1 to V2 transfer and I said hey John you guys be burning those tokens acquired during the LP edition that would be pretty neato. John Caroni responded that would be a terrible use of the tokens there are a ton of other things we can do to better utilize them versus tossing them into the fire pit and I wasn't the only person wondering what exactly he meant by this and SafeMoon James asked him like what give us a cookie we've been holding strong and John Caroni responded saying staking pools cross chain token supply are just two things they could be used for both are better uses for the ecosystem versus just lighting things on fire play 4d chess not checkers now I know a couple of people messaged me and said that they did not agree with this statement that they feel that the tokens need to be burned but John Caroni did say he had something up his sleeves for the use of these tokens so I guess we'll just have to wait and see exactly what he needs them for or how he's going to utilize them into the safe moon ecosystem and now let's fly on over to this this is a tweet that was sent out by safe moon warrior and as you can see it says hashtag safe moon last 30 day chart and you can see that there is a huge increase in price over the last 30 days here now if we just think about this price and we see the price moving up why exactly is this happening safe moon hasn't really released anything as of right now so why is all this price movement happening well if we fly on over to this this was a tweet that came out from Binance that says win a year of free pizza and how to join this retweet this post and follow Binance bake or buy a pizza with CZ's favorite toppings ham and pineapple and share a photo video with Binance pizza and hashtag Binance well what exactly happened because of this well John Caroni decided to tweet at him pineapple does not go on pizza and if anyone is a fan of SafeMoon you know that John Caroni does not like pineapple on his pizza but you do know that SafeMoon recently got listed on Mandala and Mandala is a child company to Binance, which is its parent company. And pretty much all the tokens that are listed on Mandala right now are all listed on Binance. So people are beginning to think that SafeMoon will be listed on Binance in the near future. And I feel like that is one of the reasons why the price is pumping because a lot of people are getting excited. Also, if we fly on over to this, this came out from John Caroni just a few days ago. It says the SafeMoon exchange release is sooner than some might think. Please manage expectations. Do not speculate on release 
timing, a few steps we must complete before we can release the launch date slash launch window. Stay tuned for official channels for further information. So now you have the idea of Binance coming, you have the idea of the Safe Moon Exchange coming, and I decided to tweet at John Crony. I said, is it releasing sooner than you thought? Because John Crony said we will have it by the end of the year, but I was trying to see if he would give us a little bit of hint maybe in the next couple of months or so, but he did not respond to my tweet, so it's still all up in the air and I can't speculate on the release of the timing because John told me not to. So let's fly on over to this. This could also be another reason for the price pump and this would also help the price out a lot if this happened. If you go through the roadmap that they have on Discord and you look through all the things that they have done so far, you could see this little hourglass that says replacing swap and liquefy with swap and evolve. Now that would generally help the price out hugely if people were going to start selling SafeMoon. It would start building up a bag ready to start doing more buys into the SafeMoon LP, causing a stronger LP for SafeMoon. So we can only hope that they get the swap and evolve enabled as soon as possible. So if people do start to decide to sell their bag, swap and evolve will kick in and then give us that green candle that everyone wants to see. So this is also more positive stuff that's going in the world of SafeMoon. You have Binance possible listing, you have SafeMoon possible listing, you have the possibility of swapping evolve getting enabled at any time. Now let's fly on over to this. If you guys weren't aware, SafeMoon is actually trying to put out a merch box. It says there's only seven days left to order this limited edition SafeMoon Space Capsule. And if we fly on over to this, you can see what is listed inside the SafeMoon Capsule. You get a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, a hat, a mug, a poster, no frame included, a sticker, a pin. And so you get a lot of SafeMoon merch in this box. It's limited edition. There's only seven days left. But one of the things that I did notice, it is $250, not including shipping. So that's something that I was like, wow, this is pretty expensive. Let me see how many people would actually want to go and purchase this. If we fly on over to this, this is my Twitter account. And on my Twitter, I decided to tweet out this. It said, how many of you bought the hashtag SafeMoon time capsule merch box? Sorry guys, it's the space capsule, not the time capsule. Hashtag SafeMoon Army. And out of the almost 2000 people that responded to it, only 12% of those people or 24 people said that they have already bought the box. No to $250 because it's insane. So that's 60% of people think the price is too high. And then there is still 28% of people that are considered buying the merch box. But if you scroll down here, you could see that a lot of people think that the price of the box is too expensive. SafeMoon Ivan said, should have sold each item separately, then I would have bought a shirt myself. 250 plus taxes and shipping and handling is just too much. And a lot of people felt that way that the merch box was too expensive. I will be purchasing a merch box and doing an unboxing video on my channel and possibly doing some of the items as giveaways. So look forward to that coming in the near future. Now let's fly on over to this. This is SafeMoonGlueBiz.com and now this is a really cool website. If you guys haven't been to it, you should definitely check it out. It gives you a lot of stats on SafeMoon. And as you can see for today, right now, the buying pressure is up over the selling pressure, 58 to 41%. So it's showing you that there is a lot more buys coming in than sales for SafeMoon right now. And the price is going up. Now, what else is in the future for SafeMoon? If you fly on over to this, this is John Caroni saying, hey, what are your thoughts on displaying a dollar cost averages, the DCA within the SafeMoon wallet? And and within the SafeMoon Exchange as a feature. No promises, but would like to hear your feedback and thoughts, hashtag SafeMoon, hashtag SafeMoon32. And it seems like this is something that a lot of people want from the comments below. So this could be coming in the future for SafeMoon, guys. All right, that's all I have for today's show. If you liked it, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, share with all your friends. In my next couple of videos, I will be going over some of the partnerships that SafeMoon has in their ecosystem, because there are some really cool projects that I want you guys to know about. So just make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.